Hi guys. So this can be the last part of um, Miss and Troops about Methadone. I'm bring it a little bit closer. Number one. Methadone causes drowsiness and sedation. False. All people sometimes feel drowsy or tired. Patients on a stable dose of methadone will not feel any more drowsy or sedated than is normal. Drowsiness may occur during the initial stages of treatment and usually subsides or disappears as methadone doses is adjusted or stabilized. As tolerance develops or a simple medical treatment. Um, next. The lower dose, the lower the dose of methadone, the better. False. People are different, and the dose that works for one patient is different from the dose that works for another. Ideally, you should decide on your dose with the help of your physician and without outside inf interference. The dose that works for you depends on your metabolism, how long your body takes to break down the pro and process methadone. Most patients will need between 60 and 120 milligrams of methadone a day to stop using heroin. A few patients, however, will feel well with 5 to 10 milligrams, other, others will need hundreds of milligrams a day in order to feel comfortable. Low doses will reduce withdrawal symptoms, and but higher doses are needed to block the effect of heroin and most important to cut cravings of heroin. The next myth is methadone causes people to use cocaine. Um, <clears throat> false. Methadone does not cause people to use cocaine. Many people who use cocaine started taking it before they started methadone maintenance treatment. And many stop using cocaine while they are on maintenance. While methadone blocks heroin withdrawal symptoms and cravings, the disease of addiction makes many people continue to use other drugs. Those who wish to stop using cocaine and other drugs are often able to do so with the help of counseling. The next myth is methadone harms your liver. This is false. The liver metabolizes, breaks down, and processes methadone. But methadone does not harm the liver. Methadone is actually much easier for the liver to metabolize than many other than many other types of medication. People with hepatitis or with severe liver disease can take methadone safely. Next, methadone is worse for your body than heroin. This is false. Methadone is not worse for your body than heroin. Both heroin and methadone are non-toxic, yet both can be dangerous if taken in, in excess. But this but this is true for everything, from aspirin to food. Methadone is safer than street heroin because it is a legal prescribed medication and it is taken orally. Unregulated, unregulated street drugs often contain many harmful additives that are used to cut the drug. Next myth is taking methadone damages your body. This is false. People have been taking methadone for more than 30 years, and there has been no evidence that long-term use causes any physical damage. Methadone, like most medications, have side effects. These include constipation, increased sweating, and dry mouth. Other effects such as menstrual abnormalities and decreased sex desire have been reported by some patients but have not been clearly linked to methadone use. Side effects usually go away over time or with dose, dose adjustments and do not cause permanent damage. Sorry, picky. My cat's in there. I'm like putting on the thing on him. The next one is taking methadone makes you more likely to get sick. This is false. 
Your body has a natural mechanism for protecting against disease called the immune system. Methadone does not damage the immune system. Methadone is the only narcotic that does not affect the immune system. In fact, several studies suggest that HIV-positive patients who are taking methadone are healthier and live longer than those drug users who are not on methadone. The next myth is methadone turns you into a zombie. This is also false. Methadone has no adverse effects on intelligence, mental capability, and employability. Stabilized methadone patients cannot be distinguished from non-methadone patients in terms of their ability to think, experience motions, or engage in physical activity. Study of the long-term effects of methadone treatment on patients' intelligence reveal that after 10 years of continuous methadone treatment, standard intelligence test scores were the same or slightly higher than at onset of treatment. Sometimes our lifestyle affects our energy level. Low energy and lack of motivation often come from depression and help hopelessness. Methadone blocks heroin withdrawal symptoms and cravings. It does not find a person a job, deal with, the, deal with past trauma or guilt from the past actions, and teach a person how to deal with painful emotions or how to relate well to others. These things are only learned in living life free of active addiction. One of the many advances to the methadone program is that you have easy access to medical care, counseling, and referrals to needed support in the community. The next one is methadone depolites calcium. So basically, methadone stores your calcium. Because I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm dyslexic. So this is false. There is no scientific proof whatsoever that methadone depolites Pleats calcium from the body. This can be attributed largely to poor nutrition. To look for the real culprit in calcium depletion, depletion, look no further than a much more common drug, caffeine. Caffeine and coffee, tea, cola drinks, and chocolate has been proven to deplete calcium. The next one is methadone rots your teeth. This is also false. This is a cons con uh, this is a consequence of long periods of time in active addiction. Few heroin addicts clean their teeth regularly or go for dental checkups. Many act, um, many addicts also consume a lot of sugar. Finally, in, inadequate nutrition will fail to keep teeth, gums, and bones healthy. When stabilized on methadone, individuals may first become aware of their dental decay. This is the last one. The myth is methadone gets in your bones. This is also false. Methadone does not get in into your bones or in any other way cause harm to the skeleton skeletal system. Although some methadone patients report having aches in their arms and legs, the discomfort is probably a mild withdrawal symptom and may be eased by adjusting the dose of methadone. If your dose is incorrect or if you continue to use mood-altering substances in addition to methadone, your standard dose may be in insignificant or you could suffer mild withdrawal symptoms. So this is the last part of my myths and facts of methadone. Um, so... I would like to hear what your thoughts are on methadone or suboxone or any MAT, which is medically assistant treatment. 
Um, I would like to hear your, your thoughts, your comments, so please comment below. If you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. And I hope this helps if you are in active addiction and thinking about going on methadone and hear all these stereotypes. I hope it helps you make this, this decision to either go on or not. And I hope this video also helps people who are not on methadone, who always accuse us of freaking trading one drug for another and that we're getting high because we're not getting high. This drug is made to help us not want to use heroin. Help with the cravings, you know, like when I was in a lower dose before my dose got stabilized, I wanted to use all the time. Since May 25th, when that switch went off of my brain and said, I said, I'm never doing it again, I have not. Like, I have thought about it like maybe once in a blue moon, but I have not wanted to do it. Anywho, I hope this guy, this has helped somebody out. And I hope you like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Kelly Hunt. 216 that's k-e-l-l-y-h-u-n-t-216 or follow me on my facebook page kelly's life as a recovering addict and again that's k-e-l-l-y apostrophe apostrophe s um life as a recovering addict um i have also made a facebook group it is called addicts helping addicts so please Follow me on those social media plugs. Um, if you have any ideas of what video I should make next, feel free to comment below. I'm still looking for people who would like to be in my video. On um, people, um, you, you could be a recovering addict, an active addiction. You could have been affected by addiction. You might not even have an addiction or been affected, but you have a good point of view on how communities could help addicts i want to hear your point of view i'm going to make a video if it's only me then it's only me if it's only me i might um make my mom do it with me but i would like to have more people the more the merrier but uh if you are interested in doing that please comment down below or you could send me email at kellyhunt216 at gmail.com that will be in the description below and i hope you guys have a wonderful day Remember, don't give up hope because we do recover. Have a good one, guys. Bye.